So, we have a whole bunch of new Kaisers to check out for the first time. This is going to be an early first look at them. They'll be dropping September 3rd, 10 p.m. Central Time. I'll upload another video closer to that date showing the best ones of today's video. You know, after getting to try them a little bit, I'm sure you can kind of figure that out yourself. But this is a way for you to look at them really quick and see if you like any of them for being so you can be prepared on the 3rd. This is the Kaiser Swedge. Now, I got to say, I really like this one. And Kaiser, for the first time, is using 9CR. At least I don't remember them ever using 9CR. So 9CR, 18MOV. And I got to say, this kind of reminds me of the XL Assassin. Now, this one isn't the XL, but it reminds me of a liner lock version of the Assassin in a way. And I really like the Assassin. This is even more or has even better ergonomics. Fantastic access to the lock bar. A super well-tuned detent. I love this flipper tap. It's nice and comfortable. It allows you to do the light switch or the push button, which I do really like, or you can do the in-between. Uh, so it snaps out with authority. Really good detail. You can hear it when it closes. It really clicks in there, so fantastic detent. And then this G10 has like this almost tacky sandpaperish feel, which is really cool. Um, it, it locks in your hand. This drop point blade has really nice geometry, nice and thin behind the edge. Decent plunge grind, not too shabby. Deep carry clip that is reversible. Um, it doesn't have liners on this side, so it's only liners on one side. No wonder why it's so lightweight. So yeah, really, really cool. This is definitely one I really, really like. Next one is the Clipper, the Kaiser Clipper. Now this one is in 3V and aluminum. So I already showed the Clipper in another video, but it wasn't, it was a 154CM and Micarta. This one's in 3V, and I gotta say, this is another one I really, really like. Complete fall shut action, amazing access to the lock bar. The front flipper is really easy to use. They did a perfect job with the jimping, perfect job tuning the detent. Um, I said on the other one that I wish there was a chamfer right here on both sides to kind of get to the front flipper a little bit better, but it still works so good. It's definitely one I really like. And this blade shape with these handles, makes it to where this thing is so, so, so useful. You can use it in any direction. You don't have a flipper tab in the way. Um, it does have liners on both sides. So, you know, that's the one thing I kind of wish since it was aluminum, they just had solid aluminum, but you know, I guess the liners make it easy for them to switch, you know, scales and, you know, decide which ones they want. Um, but Deep carry clip that is reversible. I like the gold accents. Geometry, really, really good. Nice and thin behind the edge. Not too thick of a spine. Sharpening joint plunge grind. Could be backed up a little bit, but you're going to have a couple good sharpenings in there. You, I love that you can reverse flick this very easily. I said that on the other one, that this is one that you don't look at as multiple deployments, but it absolutely is. So, yeah, this is another one that I really, really like. Let's check out another one. Now, this next one is... The Miltaw. So, I gotta say, the looks of this thing really speak to me. It's unique. I like how, look at this inlay. So you can see, let me open it up. You can see the titanium underneath this inlay, and this in, inlay is seamless. Like, you wouldn't even know, aside from the texture difference between the titanium and the inlay, and it's on both sides. Beautiful uh, milled titanium pocket clip, couple um, standoffs. Lots of milling on the inside to bring down the weight relief. Look at that access to the lock bar. That's my style right there. Oh my goodness. Um, the blade steals S35VM. We have a, a somewhat of a drop point blade. I'd call it a drop point. Beautiful geometry. Not a fan of the sharpening twill, but you know, we'll get over it. It has really good ergonomics. My goodness, is that comfortable? Oh my goodness. You can just kind of see how that's going to play uh, because this is so nicely rounded. It just, it melts in your hand and you can still choke up. Like I said, the access to the lock bar is just money. You have a front flipper. Woo! That front flipper works good. Oh yeah. They did good jimping on there too. Nice catchy jimping. It's not too slick. Not too smooth, has a little bit of bite on there. Then you have the reverse flicking hole or thumb flicking hole. Now I will say the detent is on the lighter side for this one, but I appreciate it because damn it is this fidgety. Holy cow. It, you know, it feels like it's a little bit on the lighter side, 
but it, cause I can easily, you know, like fail it if I wanted to, I guess, but it also makes it to where it's so, so fidgety. So yeah, I, I, I kind of like the detent. You know, maybe some people might say they'd like it tuned just a little bit stronger, but it wouldn't be much because, you know, as good as this thing works, I don't want to change mine at all. I, I, I personally think it's awesome. And it allows this super smooth dropping action. Man, yeah, this thing's fidgety as all hell. Um, even on lefty, you know, I'm not a lefty, but man, I could sit here and fidget with this thing all day lefty. That's cool. Um, so you can see we have a steel lock bar insert. Um, the, the finish is a stone washed finish. I love that. If I was going to say any T8s all the way around too, holy cow, look at all these T8s. That's awesome. I kind of like the look of, you know, extra hardware. Anyways, I think this one's awesome. Um, this might be the winner of today. But uh, let's see that clip. Oh, it's nice and solid, so it must be inset. Perfect centering. Yeah, this one's, this one's a good one. Um, let's check out the next one. Now, again, this next one, actually, I think there's two of the same. Yeah, we have, I have two different versions of the same model. I think it's both the same steel. You know what's weird is mine don't have, I've noticed this on a couple of them. I don't see the steel on the knife. Um, this one's, they're both 9CR 18 MOV. So they're both 9CR, but I don't see it on the blade at all. Um, maybe it's just these ones. I don't know. Um, but maybe it's just hidden. Uh, but anyways, I noticed that on one of the other models that I didn't see the blade steel on the other 9CR. Anyways, it's a, it's a button lock. And, it, you know, it, again, it reminds me of the Assassin a little bit. It is, it is different though. It's definitely girthier. It does not feel the same. You know, even the flipping action is a little different, but again, you know, uh, Kaiser tunes their detents really, really good. Their money for sure, really good action. They drop and then that, that blade, you can almost feel it sucking in. That's a nice strong detent for a button lock, which is something I appreciate. When you're gonna do a button lock, it has to have a strong detent. Uh, we have, a deep carry clip that is reversible. Now I will say, I don't like JG-10 on satin. I think that if they took this JG-10 and put it on this knife with the black hardware, black clip, black blade, that would look cool. But just like this with the satin, I think this looks ugly. I think this is ugly, ugly, ugly. So maybe I'll swap the, you know, the G-10 over. But again, it has that tacky G-10 that I was talking about earlier. Um, it is a three and a half finger knife. Uh, but I gotta say, I can comfortably get four fingers on there, just like kind of crushing my hand on there. And I mean that in a good way. Like it, it feels like you're hanging on to a three and a half finger knife, but it, it's so thick and wide, it's comfortable. Like I could totally bear down on this long term. Um, so, you know, that, that does definitely add something to it for such a compact knife because it's a compact knife while being able to really bear down and you can always do the trigger pull on the, the flipper tab. So next is the yacht. Also in 9CR18 MOV and holy cow is this thing smooth. Um, at first I looked at it and I didn't really like the looks of it but then I opened it up and closed it and it's like, oh my goodness. Um, sometimes the action can kind of change your mind. This thing is glassy smooth. Listen to, listen to detent. The flipper tab works really good. Perfectly well-tuned detent. Uh, good looking blade. I like the blade shape. Nice stone wash. I like this ramp right here. I'm not a big fan of the placements for the fingers. Um, if I spread out, you know, it's comfortable. But if... You know, I you know I put my fingers just naturally where they go. My fingers personally land right on the humps. But, you know, I can spread them out and make it work just fine. So, you know, yeah, it works. Good access to the lock bar. Deep carry clip that is reversible. Yeah, it's a cool little knife, you know. Not, nothing too fancy, nothing too special. Um, there's only a liner on one side, so it definitely br brings down the weight. And, you know, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of other color options. Super duper smooth, man. Kaiser, man. Kaiser knocks their action out of the park. Next, 
The Kaiser Sheepdog Clutch Lock now in black. With 154 CM, we have a blasted, we have a blasted grind and then a satin grind on the flaps or on the spine. Uh, it is a deep carry, it does have a deep carry clip that's inset with flat screws and reversible. And this is a clutch lock, so you can adjust it. It does come perfectly well tuned though. Yeah, very, very smooth, really good. I like my other one, so I have the purple one, and I gotta say, this is one that uh, I really, really like. Um, I think it was a good idea doing the crossbar lock, or sorry, the clutch lock with the Sheepdog, because this this makes this Sheepdog so fidgety. You have the thumb stud, you have the, the reverse flicking hole, then you have the, you know, the clutch lock, um, you do have a fuller, but you know, it's not the best because it's not that sharp. I can use it, but just because they tune their detent so good, um, you can choke up really nicely. Yeah, they, they, this was a good idea for them to do. And this also makes it feel really premium without having too premium of a price tag, you know, because they have the titanium frame block versions that, you know, they're obviously going to be more expensive. And I'll tell you what. They do a really good job with their titanium frame locks. In fact, here it is right here. Listen to this detent. This thing is so solid. I love this knife. Um, this is one of my favorite sheepdogs is the titanium frame lock version. It just feels premium. It feels su super premium. And that's what I love about it. I hate when I get a titanium knife and it just doesn't feel premium to me. This does. Um, but this makes it to where you're right there, you know, feeling, you know, a bit of uh, premiumness <laughs> without too much of the price tag. And I gotta say, you know, out of all crossbar locks, Kaiser has knocked the crossbar lock design out of the park. They have the most superior, if not the best crossbar lock design on the market today. Let's get to this last one. Now the last one is the Mystic. So good looking knife, holy cow. Love this harpoon clip point. Oh yeah, that's gorgeous. Nice stone wash, titanium with a, a micarta pivot collar. Really nice micarta. Yeah, this thing looks nice. What blade steel's on this? S35? No, Rex 45. Holy cow, we got Rex 45, what? We got Rex 45, ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. I never would've thought I'd see Holy shit. Wow. Um, anyways, let, let's talk about the knife. So the thumb studs are amazing. Really good thumb stud action. Holy cow. Fantastic access to the lock bar. Yeah, that's really nice. Stupid smooth. Look at this drop. This thing's com a complete guillotine. I haven't even oiled it. So ergonomics are really, really good. Um, the front flipper. Ooh, ooh, um, ah. Uh. Okay, so here, this is the, the gist on the front flipper. If you use it in the front right here, it works good. But you don't want to go over on top right here. It doesn't work. They did the worst type of jimping you could put on this, which is slippery. It's not sharp. Like, it doesn't catch you, so like, I can't, I have to go all the way around right here to get leverage because it's just too slick. Why did they put this jimping on there? How do they not know this? Like, I don't understand when they have it in the factory. You know, like I said, if you go around the front, it's good. It, it's really good. I could probably even do the, yeah, it, it's fine as long as you're going over to the front, but why not still just put, the sharp jimping. That way I can put my finger up here and utilize this jimping here and go straight down. Yeah, that, that troubles me. But you know, all in all though, I'm still happy with the knife. I mean, this thing is really, really good. Um, like I said, super good ergonomics, man. Wow. Th that's very, very comfortable. The smoothness is on another level. Um, detent, I would say, is medium, you know, in a good way because it has that front flipper. So I'm super glad it's not a strong detent um, because that's that's so bad, man, when you have a super strong detent with a front flipper, but the thumb studs are super enjoyable. Um, so this has 
the best action on this is going to be the thumb studs. Thumb studs are really, really good. Um, front flipper, you know, we already spoke about it. Anyways, um, yeah, this one's cool. And this blade steel knocks it over the top. No flex on the clip. Clip seems like it'll work pretty good. Um, no milling on the inside, but it's not heavy, so it doesn't. It actually feels pretty light because of these. My, this is my card. My card is super light. So, uh, all in all, man, yeah, it's pretty cool. A um, little disappointing. Ooh, and I can reverse flick off of the stone wash. Um, a little disappointing for the front flipping, front flip jimping. Um, but you know, hey, uh, we can't we can't win everything, right? But yeah, man, I just I wish they would have just put sharper jimping there. It's cool though, you know, like I said, I just go around the front. Not a big deal, right? Just go to the front. So there you guys go, work hard, stay tough. You know society's relying on you. Until next time, peace.